better video. Maybe it just didn't like YouTube. <laughs> I can just talk about it too if we can't get it. And we can just share Absolutely. It. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we did Faith Fight Finish this week for our cause. That is Dak Prescott's cause. Um, the video was just showing his My Cause, My Cleats. And they were just done by a kid who has no arms. He painted them. So his main thing with Fate Fight Finish is to help those power through adversity. So he's empowering individuals who to find strength through adversity, basically. So that kid that had no arms painting his cleats, obviously that child has a lot of adversity to get through with the limitations of having no arms. Um, his three main things for his cause are to do cancer research. If you know anything about Dak, you know, he himself has gone through a lot of adversity himself. His mom died of cancer in 2013. And then, so cancer research is a big, big thing for him. The next thing is mental health and suicide prevention. Again, his brother was lost to suicide last year. So he's a big advocate for that too. And then like soon after that, he had his injury. So he's gone through a lot in like the last year. So I'm really proud of him for doing good this year and think he deserves comeback player of the year. <laughs> Woo! And then the last thing, like his next incentive that's really, really big is bridging the gap between law enforcement and the communities they've served. And we, we've seen that just over the last few years, how there's just a huge gap there. So that's amazing that he's going out into the communities and trying to bridge that gap. So I thought that was cool. Absolutely. But yeah, it's basically just an organization that goes out there. They find people who need help, find people that have faced a lot of adversity and try to help them out. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. That first time is super amazing anyway. You guys know. I super, love I super love my guy. But I mean, just have an organization that truly is built off of the strength of his losses. Like okay. that is that's pretty deep. I mean, he's lost his brother due to suicide. He's lost his mom due to cancer. And to to, to fight for the cause is absolutely amazing. I think it's uh, it speaks for the character he is. That's why you don't hear him out in the news with any drama or anything mm -hmm. like that. He's truly really a good guy. Um, I feel like he is just an awesome person. Um, and I and I love this organization. So what else you guys? What else you guys have to say, Delilah? You have anything else? I know you probably have some extra facts. Yeah. Um, well, basically, like, it's kind of just piggybacking off of what Ash was saying is that I, I do like that he decided, well, he talks about why it's called Faith Fight Finish. And that's kind of the video I wanted to show, but it wasn't working. And it's because that those were the last words his mother gave to him mm -hmm. of encouragement. Right. Yeah. So in order to help him find strength in what was happening, those were the last words that she gave to her son to give him, you know, strength through the fact that he, you know, she knows she was leaving this world and he know he knew she was leaving too. And so that's why those three words are so important to him. And that's why he named the organization this because his mother told him, have faith, fight and finish. And so Absolutely. that's why this organization is called that. So not only is it to do all these wonderful causes and to make sure that they're bridging these gaps and they're making sure that they're providing mental health support for a lot of people, suicide prevention, working with the community, but he really did name it after his mother. And he lives by that code and he has it tattooed on his back. Yeah. So across his back, he has a giant tattoo that says these exact three words. On his tape every he, week, he writes. He wears, it on, he wears it on his tapes. And so these it. words... Yeah, he really believes this. These words are his mantra, and I, I respect that 100%. So shout out to Dak for not just um, doing something great, but doing something in the honor of your mother, and this keeps her memory alive. So great organization. Check it out. We'll put the link in the Let's Talk Football page like we've yeah. done with the- Sorry, we couldn't play the, the video. Oh. <laughs> I just Another thing that we'll say... work on. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll be great. <laughs> keep going as we progress. I love the cancer research part. Yes. Little known fact about me, I'm a breast cancer survivor. Yes. So the fact that he does that part speaks a lot to me because of my history with cancer. And I just think that 
there needs to be as much research for it as possible so that we don't have to go through this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's not fun. I'm firsthand knowledge that it is not fun. Absolutely. So I give him a lot of credit for that piece of it. And if with his mom dying of cancer and knowing I fought it yeah. and, sur and surviving it, that is really amazing. <laughs> and we all know in light of Antonio Brown's recent struggles, the mental health piece is just incredible as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Man, that is such a beautiful story. And um, I, I we, we, we are reaching out to anybody who has gone through, through that because there's a lot of women who have gone through cancer. And um, Katie, I'm just so glad that you are doing better. Um, there's a lot of people who, you know, are going through the struggle right now. So uh, we think that this cause is an absolute wonderful cause. Please do your research because if you want to donate to it, I'm pretty sure they are, you know, they, there's a link in there that you can donate to these organizations because it's, it just, it's a message that needs to go out and we all need to do our part to help. Yes, so, guys, we do have to get on to the next section of the show.